Like the W the WNBA, they just had their All Star game where they scrimmaged against uh, Team USA. So WNBA team scrimmaged against Team USA, and Milwaukee's own Arik Ogunbowale, she um, scored 30, 34 points, uh, uh, WNBA uh, uh, All Star record. Um, she, mm-hmm. she was out there torching Team USA. <laughs> uh, uh, team mm-hmm. USA probably still gonna have the best women's team in the Olympics, but yeah, these the, the, Team WNBA, they 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 put it on them. Uh, thoughts, yeah, they did. reactions, <laughs> like shout, <clears throat> shout out to Arik, man. She, she really did her thing. No, she she was cooking, and and that's just that it was it was dope for Milwaukee as well. But she was absolutely cooking though. Like, <clears throat> I mean, I don't think it like takes away from the USA team because there's still a lot of like stars and all stars and superstars that weren't selected on the team. You know what I mean? Like, so they they kind of carefully select their team for their own nucleus and what they need overseas. So, I, you know, I ain't tripping about that, but. Mm-hmm. No, it was dope. It was a good game. Do you think because Kay, Kaylin Clark played her ass off? So did uh, um, our our girl. What's our girl name? The, the double double. That's your girl, Angel, Angel, Angel Reese. Reese. Angel Reese, yeah, Angel, Angel. Reese. She yeah. she played she played her ass off. Uh, she had eleven points, eleven rebounds. Um, she she did. She just I, you know because I I, I, don't, I don't never say you never heard me say anything about her because I just don't like talking down because she getting her money like you know what I mean like is she getting her notoriety. So I love that, and I and I just love, but she's just not that good of a basketball player. <laughs> I watch her all the time, and she's just really not that good. She just has so much. She has like a dog, though. She has a different gear that don't know other player have that's out there, mm-hmm. and so like she just. But that's you know that, she that, she gonna she she gonna get those numbers. But as far as like when I watch her play, like just from a basketball standpoint, I'm like, man, she just you know she's not. It's some girls, and it's like big. It's like women that play her position in the WNBA way more talent, like just but, way more. But skill. here's the thing, though: she big, like I said she is. She she hustles. That bro, sometimes yeah. that's the intangible. It, it she, you about, know, you know what she remind me of? She reminds me of thanks a Dennis for, Rodman. Thanks for, thanks for cutting me and off that, and that, letting me make my point. Sorry. Right. What I was saying is sometimes her the hustle is the intangible. It ain't about the skill, how pretty it look, and all that type of shit. That her hustle is, and that dog is. The no, intangible. no, it's, it's it, no. I'm, I'm I wasn't. I'm I'm not like I'm I'm watching her, and I've seen the numbers too. Like. Most of her points that she gets are off her own misses. Like she misses wide open legs. But what I'm saying is she's not really that good at basketball. And and she re, and I want to say because Dennis Rodman was good at basketball, but when he was playing with the Bulls, you know, it was just that rebound. He wasn't scoring. He it almost looked like he could barely score out there sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So like she does, she just has a different go, which I love. But like as far as just like talent wise, like no, I don't think she's that good. <laughs> She's gonna get better. I'll, she's I'll, still young. This is her first yeah. year. She's a rookie, bro. She get. She gonna have time. That's a, that's a little hate on that too, Trey. <laughs> no, it's, it's a, no, it's not no hate. No, be, be, because I disagree with what you're saying. That's no, hate. no. I watch bro, basketball she got the most, and I know basketball. Bro, she got the most double. Uh, I, I, she got the most double doubles in NBA. So and, she's and, doing and, something and 60, right. Sixty she's something, something percent right. of her rebounds come off of her own misses, Jerome. So okay. like you know, I'm not hating. You know, well, we want. We're not gonna sit there and say that because I'm disagreeing mm-hmm. because you like her. No, she's not. Since we gonna go there. She's not that good at basketball. She's just not. Yeah, you said you said she, that, her, you, her 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 hustle and everything gets you, her those. You numbers. think Russell Westbrook is still good, bro? Let's stop. <laughs> like, if you want to argue, you he, think Russell he, Westbrook? He, Russell still Westbrook good? is good. No, the fuck he, he's he not, is bro. Good. <laughs> he he is and, good. And he's not gonna be. He good. And he ain't gonna good. be shit on Denver either with his fifty for thirteen going ass. So anyway, back. No, back. I, I don't understand. <laughs> That's crazy that when people disagree with him, they're just immediately wrong. No, That's no, hilarious. No, I didn't say you was no, wrong. Just what because, I'm saying what I'm saying is you you throwing you throwing you throwing sauce on that. I'm not throwing. Sauce on it, <laughs> you are throwing sauce I've on watched it. her and I've tried to like her, <laughs> like literally. Where I'm like, man, I'm, I'm messing with her. And, and so once once I started watching, her, I'm like, I'm like, oh, she a dog. And then I'm watching games and I'm like, man, she ain't really that good. Like she just really got more go than everybody else. You know what I mean? Like she hustled more. So she, but I'm watching just like the way that she's hyped up. She's not that good. Okay, absolutely. But anyway, back to what I was trying, what, I, what I was trying to get a, get to initially is I was going to ask, do y'all think that? Uh, uh, Caitlin Clark, Angel Reese, and uh, a replay the way that they play was any, any, uh, any. Uh, uh, do you think that they played the way they played because they were snubbed on getting on Team USA? Because a lot of people talked about how uh, Caitlin Clark should have been on Team USA. Um, no, I, well, I don't know about Caitlin Clark as far as that's concerned. Um, I don't think I think she was just. I think they're. I think what it is is that they're picking the players that they feel are going to actually win the goal. Um, I don't think that it was like a snub or anything like that, because again, Angel Reese is doing pretty good as far as, like I said, leading, uh, uh, I think she's, uh, 
averaging a double double, and I think about a steal and a half, and I think one point eight assists or something around there, or two assists a game. I think she's at around there. So I mean, they're playing good basketball, and so is uh, Caitlin. But I just think that they're really just focusing on the players that they actually feel like are going to get them to go. Um, Cause you know, let's keep it real. The female teams, uh, USA basketball has always been pretty dominant overseas. So I think that's what they're focusing on. I don't think it's more so kind of what the general public are kind of thinking, or she's trying to, you know, they're trying to, they're hating on Caitlin and all that kind of stuff. I don't necessarily think it's hate. I just think that's the selection committee. Um, Cause we could say the same thing about uh, the USA, yeah, you know, yeah, kind of how right. we feel about with Jalen Brown, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, so I think that's more so what's going on than anything else, but mm-hmm. I can understand why people feel like, you know, there's a level of, oh, they hating on Caitlin, but yeah. I don't necessarily think it's that. Yeah, I think, and I think, I, I think to, to that point with Angel Reese, I just think she always turns up when it's high competition. She just seems to be like, enjoy that element. Cause just like how she did yeah. in college, I think that's really to, to Trey's point and yours as well. She has that it, you know what I'm like? When it's time to really showcase, she's yeah. not, she's not afraid of the lights like some players are. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that was my whole point. But uh, um, yeah, because because a lot of people talk about how Sue Bird, because she's ancient, shouldn't be shouldn't have been on the uh, Team USA. Should have been Caitlin Clark. But I just I just wanted to know what what y'all thoughts were on that. But shout out to Team USA, to Team WNBA for uh, uh, putting that spanking on uh, Team USA. Uh, team right. USA. Sue Bird could be ancient, but is she still uh, doing pretty good in basketball? So I mean, right, that's right, really right, right. where like Diana Taurasi. I think she's uh-huh. like forty or forty one. Mm-hmm. But right. Who are you gonna take? You can take Caitlin Clark, or you gonna take Diane Taurasi? Actually, actually I, mean, I was talking to Diane Taurasi. I said Sue Bird, but I meant Diane Taurasi. That's exactly okay, got it. My bad. Yeah, yeah. I misspoke. So, yeah, yeah. So, so you know, I just think it's more so that, and I think because I think they're averaging about the same in terms of points, him mm-hmm. and her and Caitlin. Mm-hmm. Uh, but again, you're gonna go with the experience. You know, Diane right. Taurasi is arguably the greatest WNBA player ever. So, um, you know, some people can argue that, but I'm just saying she's she's one of those people that they consider one of the greats. So mm-hmm. I think that's more so why it's just like mm-hmm. when bird and, you know, bird and magic was on the 92 dream team. Yes, they were older, but they were still hooping. So it wasn't, it wasn't like they mm-hmm. was just on the team for no reason. So I just, you know, I think that's where it really comes stems from. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> sorry. So y'all women don't, don't uh, <laughs> sit up here and say that men don't care about WNBA basketball. Y'all see me and Trey just got in a whole argument. <laughs> about the, a whole, a whole argument. argument. Y'all thought we it, talking it, about Jordan and LeBron cracking. out here. <laughs> hey, but, but it's, it's really cracking though. Yeah, like the yeah, WNBA is yeah, really cracking is. this season. I even hey, seen man. that they got like a $250 million, uh, um, man, I'll have to look it up for you. But like, just as far as, um, endorsements and, so a lot of the, con- you know, their contracts would be going up. So like, that's just super dope to see. Mm-hmm. And really it is because of Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. I'm just being honest with you. And even the ladies that's coming out, <clears throat> you talking about Paige Buckner. Um, what's her name from USC? Mm-hmm. Um, Ro- Roma girl. I can't think of her can, name right now. Her but like, it's, I got it's, a face in my head. Can't think of her name either, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Go yeah. But, but like, but like their, their media, like their social media following and, and people following them, they really finna get these WNBA ladies paid how they should have been getting paid. But I mean, nobody was really watching. The viewership is up insanely since Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark came. So I think that's super dope. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, um, uh, I like I said, I like I like to see any boost in uh, in sports, especially some stuff that got a lot of representation, like the WNBA. Got a lot of uh, our sisters in there doing their thing. So I love to see that type of shit. But like, I think I think this, I think these narratives is something that's going to have to be pushed with these, with these women's sports moving forward, because that's the reason it's been so interesting is because like the whole Kaylin Clark Angel Reese, I don't think if, if, if that wouldn't have been a thing, a storyline since them girls playing since high school and now then you had the, you can't see me and all the other type of shit, them getting invited to the white house, all these different weird ass storylines been going on with the, uh, with, with women's basketball. I don't think it would have had this many eyes on it. You know what I mean? Plus we, that we do have the great white hope. <laughs> so that is some, it is some credence on that as well. But, uh, uh, um, I, I, are you talking about? Caitlin Clark. She cold though. No, but I know she but cold. That's the but major she... draw. That's the absolutely. That's reason. the major I mean, that's draw, right? That's that's my that's point. Going to... Yeah, she's yeah. white. Yeah. So she's white and great. So like, mm-hmm. push that shit. You know, that's what they. Eminem was the prime example. Right. But well, like, it, it, well, but absolutely, hold on, hold on especially in the mo- um, um, mostly, um, it, it's, it's a black sport too. Yeah, you but, know what I mean. But so that, like, that's that's my point. The better she's she's cold. Don't get me wrong. But the better players are still the black women that that perform at a high level, like Asia Wilson. Well, cook, of course, cooks. So, but it, but hold she's on. the reason why white people are watching the WNBA. That part, but also like right. I said, they made a villain out of Angel Reese as well. 
So that narrative, right. that that, that maybe they need, maybe they gonna have to find another villain for for college sports next year. You know what I'm saying? Maybe uh, no, flying. Fly <laughs> but but that but the what the good thing about the Angel Reese and the Caitlin Clark is this is a bird and magic part two for yeah. for, for, for women. For women, that's, that's the reason. That's the whole reason that is that is there because again mm-hmm. they turn up when they play against each other. So that's what yeah, they do. And everybody wants to see Caitlin do well because if Ta- Caitlin does well, the money's going to go up. That's just how it is. She's a rural. White woman <laughs> out of Iowa or wherever the hell it was, they absolutely are going to push for that. It's yeah. just how it goes. It's it, just that's just America. Is this Flying J's last year of uh, uh, of uh, of uh, eligibility? I hope it is. I need to see her in the WNBA. I don't know. She 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 could have came out uh, this year, bro. I know she could have came going out back another year. No, listen. I think she only going to be a junior though. Yeah, that, that's my whole thing. I, I like because I, I think she was a freshman last year, so you might be right. Oh, so she's gonna be a sophomore. She's gonna be a sophomore. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 mm-hmm. no. This year she she's a sophomore. I think you are right. She's going to her junior year. Hmm. But uh, but anyway, and she she's the, very serious. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, hey, listen, I don't blame her for sitting in college. All that damn nil money they making, like fuck going to the WNBA, right? Like, right. Until, until you out of eligibility, I just didn't know when her eligibility was up. That's all. Because mm-hmm. I like her as a basketball player, so that's all, that's one reason I was asking that. But okay. hey, isn't she? She ain't she rapping too? Yes, she raps as well. Yes, she is. I've never heard mm-hmm. her. I've never heard her music before, but I've seen her hoop. I'm supporting. She called. <laughs> she called. <laughs> she I'm called. supporting. She, she can hoop. Up. Like she, she really likes. She like. She nice. Mm-hmm. All right, man. So let me think. Let me see. Let me see what's what. What else is on 